57 in Boston this morning. Newport coming in around 55 degrees. We're in the middle 50s in Westerly, low 50s right now, Richmond and in Narragansett. And our view over North Kingstown going to show those skies mostly clear. Sunshine this afternoon, highs near 60. It's a nice day. And we do have a little breeze. West southwest winds around 15 miles per hour, gusting over 20 at times through the later afternoon and evening hours. We're dry again tomorrow. More rain at the end of the week. We'll talk about how much rain we're expecting to see, but right now want to get out to the roadways. See how things are drying up for your Wednesday morning commute. Here's Melissa with the details. Well, it was very slow going yesterday afternoon with all that rain, that stormy weather. Much better commute this morning. If you're heading out the door, you are still dealing with some damp conditions, but the roads are continuing to dry out over here. You can see you have a nice commute ahead of you crossing over state lines. This is 195 heading east and west. Not a whole lot of activity this morning because we have those damp conditions, not noticing a whole lot of overnight road work like we typically see, but we do have some scheduled road work today at 9 a.m. This is along 295 heading both north and south in the area of exit 7 to Phoenix Ave. You're going to have some alternating lane closures for some bridge work. They were doing this earlier in the week, so you could just be looking at a little bit of a slower commute through this area today. I'll have another check in your commute coming up. And this morning bringing you new reaction to the Rhode Island governor's race. As we mentioned at the top of the hour, Gene Raimondo has been reelected as Rhode Island's governor. Raimondo picking up 53 percent of the vote. That compared to just 41 percent back in 2014 when she first defeated Cranston Mayor Alan Fung. This year, the Republican candidate coming in at 37 percent, independent candidate Joe Trillo with 4 percent. I'm News reporter Alexandra Leslie live in studio with reaction this morning from the candidates. Well, a big night for Governor Gina Raimondo may seem all too familiar for both the governor and Mayor Fung, but both Fung and independent Joe Trillo say they're not letting last night's loss defeat them. Let's keep going. Governor Gina Raimondo celebrating after being reelected Tuesday night, looking forward to leading Rhode Island for another four years and pleased to have earned 53% of the total votes. We were looking for validation from Rhode Islanders to this new approach and they clearly said, keep doing what you're doing, Governor. It gives her a, a good uh, momentum going into her last four years as governor. People complained the first time she only was governor with 41%. This is the first Democrat who has 50% uh, of the vote in a long, long time. For Cranston Mayor Alan Fung, another disappointing night, finishing second to Raimondo, just like he did four years ago. Despite tonight's loss, it hurts. It hurts me, hurts my family, hurts all of you. We still have to work together, put our state on the right track. Independent candidate Joe Trillo also disappointed, picking up just 4%, but Trillo says he has no regrets. We ran an honest campaign. Uh, I love this state, and I wanted to offer the people an opportunity to have an alternative, and I think that's what we, that the campaign represented. Coming up at 530, we'll take a look at what net, what is next for the governor as she begins her second and final term and also what lies ahead for Cranston Mayor Alan Fung. Live in studio, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.